Now we are in the last topic of the part one in your end of term three exam syllabus, exam coverage, sorry. Now we here they have asked you to simplify expressions of uh, exponential or radical form. We had simplified expressions on radicals or radical exponents just a while ago in the topic number nine. If you have not watched it, please go back, watch the topic nine and then come over here. So what did we learn over there? If I had say a like this, eight, radical, uh, it's square root eight. We just write 8, the power over here is 1, and whatever is over here is divided by 2. Now it's other way around. How, we, how do we write it? What is the power? 8. Okay. Then put the square root symbol. This, or if it's nothing written, it's 2 itself. So this is the answer, right? Same way, write this 8. Use the radical symbol. It's 5. That's it. That's the answer. It's very, very simple. Now, what about 4 to 7? Uh, 4 to the power 2 by 7. Whatever is up, it's to the 4. It's power raised to the power 2. And whatever is down, write it outside the radical symbol. So simple. Okay. Now, over here, this 4 squared uh, radical by 7, that's the answer. But 4 squared is equal to what? 16. This is 16. So, this is the answer. So, whenever you solve, if it is not there in your answers, don't panic. Don't worry. Just make sure you simplify it further or, you know, just rearrange terms and then you can get the correct answer. Here, the same thing, x to the power 3 and there is 3 by 2 again. So, this is equal to multiply this whenever power to power, this power, x cube is raised to the power 3 by 2. You multiply these both. It's going to be 9 by 2, isn't it? It's going to be 9 by 2. So, x to the power 9, I'm sorry and take the square root you don't need to write this 2 it's understood if it's nothing that means it's 2 x to the power 9 same way please do try the others over here there's nothing so it's half and over here you can simplify you need to simplify for all 5 1 by 3 x to the power 1 by 3 y 2 by 3 same way over here, you can solve this now one quick thing if at all you just forget somehow and it's just numbers then you can use your calculator. Say, for example, sorry. Now, over here, I have, say, root 17. The thing is, you're not going to get the correct, okay, root 17. You're not going to get an exponent form. Now, this is not a better example. I'll take this, the first one. Uh, it is 8 to the power 1 divided by 5. You can use the fraction symbol 1 by 5. You're not going to get cube root, a uh, radical of uh, phi, uh, radical phi 8. No, it's not going to happen like that. What's going to happen is you're going to get fractions. Uh, sorry, decimals. 1.515716 and goes on, right? What do you do? What you must do basically is you need to see all the four options and simplify. So now we hear this one when I simplify, shift and this, and now power 5. And 8 over here, I'm going to get the same answer. So you can do this and check with all the options. It's a long method, but this is such a simple problem. You don't need to do it. It's fine, you know. So now the distance, okay, there are two real world problems. The distance in millions of miles of a planet is from the sun in terms of T, the number of Earth days. Sorry, let me read it again. It's about everything. I don't know what happened. Maybe I'm just tired. The distance in millions of miles a planet is from the sun in terms of t. The number of earth days it takes for the planet to orbit the sun can be modeled by this expression. Write the expression in exponential form. All you need to do is simplify this to exponential form. Nothing else. It's just that they're asking, they're telling that this is the equation given over here. All you need to do is an exponential form 6, 1 by third, t, 2 by thirds. Same thing over here, you can simplify it, 1 minus, the only difference over here is, they have told you what is the value of P, the P original price in dollars is given as 52425, okay, so all you need to do is, instead of P, you need to type 52425, you need to write, sorry, not type, and then what is N, N is 8, they have also mentioned N over here, 
as 1 by n that is 8 so you need to write in radical form so this whatever is inside it remains 5 to 4 to 5 this just remains and what remains or what what's the radical it's 8 1 minus so that's the answer it's just rearranging it's very very basic please do it by yourself and then check the answers over here there are a few more problems they are again same now these have to be simplified it's basically uh, cube root of 27 that's 3 or you can just use the calculator you can just save time say for example 16 to the power negative fraction the power 5 by 4 what's the answer it is 1 by 32 you will get the answer exactly in the calculator so don't waste time for this if this problem comes you can just solve it in calculator so try it try all and just check it with the answers it should be correct